This is Robert Kraft, and I'm coming to you live on SNN Live, and we're at the Microcap Conference 2016 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. With me right now is Paul Andriolo. He's the editor of Small Cap Discoveries. Paul, welcome to SNN Live. Thanks for having me here. It's great to have you on our program. So for our audience, before we uh, get into the topic that you spoke about here at the event, you know, what's your background and how did you start Small Cap Discoveries? Uh, well, I spent probably over 20 years in the brokerage industry, um, various aspects within the, the public markets. I've been a director of a public company. Um, I've been involved in the VC uh, side of the business. Um, I've helped run startups, so I've, I've got quite a bit of experience uh, sort of all around the industry. Um, I started Small Cap Discoveries with my partner, Brandon Mackey, about two years ago, and uh, it's, been, it's been a lot of fun since then. Yeah, no, I've, we've had Brandon on too, and uh, I think we spoke to him on my podcast. And uh, yeah, no, we're definitely a follower of what you guys do there. And you know, at this conference, what, what are you guys speaking about here? So we what was your presentation. Well, we our, our presentation was uh, what we call the discovery process, and um, through that, we're we're constantly searching for what we call multi baggers. I think it's pretty well known what that is. Um, we've got a specific methodology that we use to find. Um, Companies that we think have hyper growth and have the capability of being five to ten x, you know, uh, our purchase price, and we've been quite successful in the last two three years uh, finding companies that have done just that. So, firstly, bef before I ask about you know what has been most interesting of, of late, you know, what, what's your process? You know, what are, what are some of your criteria when looking for the next multi bagger? Well, first off, we 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 focus on the Canadian markets, the Canadian public markets, and. Um, we um, sort of X out anything within the re uh, resource industry. So we focus on companies that have the ability to, to grow and sort of a, a, a business plan that's repeatable. Um, so how we find these type of companies is we, we scour CEDAR filings, which are the equivalent of Edgar filings in the US. We do it all manually. Um, so it can, can be tedious, but we've, we've got it down to a bit of a science. So we'll spend anywhere from a half hour to two hours a day going through all the daily um, quarterly filings and um, that allows us to, to sort of screen quickly for companies that meet our sort of general uh, criteria and then once we found a company that sort of fits into that, that first uh, screen then, our, then the real hard work starts and that's when we get into a lot more granular details. If you don't mind me asking, you know, what is that first screen? You know, when you're going through those CEDAR filings, what are you looking for? Well, uh, we, we look for growth. So we look for actually what we call hyper growth. Anything that's growing their revenues 25% uh, per year, sort of year over year uh, or higher, that's the first thing we look for. If a company's not meeting that re uh, requirement, we don't even, you know, look any further. And then secondary, we want to see earnings growth. So, of course, companies got to be profitable to have any kind of earnings growth. So th those are the two key ones we look for. And then after that, you start getting to, getting to share structure, um, you know, uh, how many shares the management own as a group. Um, and, and then really from there, it gets smaller and smaller in terms of the, the, the incremental value we're getting from the different uh, sort of criteria we're looking for. So why, why the Canadian market? You know, is there, I mean, there's obviously microcaps in the U.S. too, yeah. but how come you're focused over there? Well, I'm, I'm Canadian, first off, so that helps. Um, <laughs> uh, what we think we see is that there's a little bit more mispriced in the Canadian market. Um, you don't have the structure that you have in the U.S. where there's a lot more diligent uh, sort of uh, funds and institutions that are looking for, for small caps and microcaps. In Canada, everything seems to be... Um, up a little bit more in the in the food chain into the bigger companies. So, uh, simply, we think there's more opportunities for us as small investors to go after that mispricing in that microcap space. So, what are you kind of seeing right now in the microcap market? Well, in Canada specifically, mm -hmm. um, I, there, there's plenty of opportunities. We 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 tend to see, um, you know, it comes in waves. So sometimes you're not getting that many opportunities, but. Um, there's there's plenty enough to keep us busy, but we're seeing them in different sectors. And that, the nice thing too is that because we're sector agnostic, outside of the fact we don't touch uh, resource, we'll look at anything outside that. Um, we're seeing great opportunities in in things like specialty foods, um, biotech, software, uh, you know, just a little bit of everything. But I'm pretty happy that we're continuing to find good deals. And why do you think that is right now? I mean, was it because the you know the resource industry took a big hit? I mean, it's starting to somewhat come back a little bit, but it took a big hit about, you, you know, well, it's just been going down for a while. Yeah. 
Well, actually, I, I actually say that you know over the last six months or so, we've seen quite the opposite. We've seen a lot of resource companies do quite well. So what that tends to do is it drives a lot of the attention away from where we are and into the resource sector. And I, I know it's the resource sector now is having a little bit of a challenge, but um, it, it's really you know the attention runs to wherever something exciting is happening and and the fact that it's now sort of off of what we do it just gives us more opportunities yeah. so uh, what is i'd say the the main thing like if you had one big advice for you know a new investor people who are looking at the microcaps in canada what what advice would you give them uh, I, I, there's a lot of advice. I, I'd start by saying, you know, uh, be very, be very careful for one. Um, I, I think, I, I mean, I've been at it for a long time, and I, I find that companies that have um, have less of a need for for going back to the market for financing, I think that takes a lot of risk out of the, out of the equation. If you can find companies that are not requiring capital infusions on a very regular basis, I think you stand a much better chance of finding something that that's. Um, you know, quite quite good, and then uh, you know, don't be afraid to go after companies that 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 nobody else is looking at. I think you want to have you got to be a little bit of a contrarian to be able to do well in this business. Going off what you presented about yesterday, I was sitting in the room, and my question was then, what what is the most efficient way you think in finding new ideas, or maybe even following up on ones that you checked a while ago? Um, I, I mean, what we do is pretty unique. I mean, we, we, we scour seed our filings on a very regular basis, so there's very few companies that meet our criteria that, that slip through our fingers. I, I wouldn't call it efficient, but it's there. I think um, probably the most efficient way of, of finding good stories is finding somebody who does that work for you and um, has the ability to, um, well, you can, you can build trust in, but has the ability to deliver the type of ideas that you're looking for. That, that's efficient. You can come to these sort of conferences that, that vet um, you know companies that that help you sort of screen to some degree, and then it's you're you're fishing in a in a smaller pond rather than have to you know spread your net really wide. So I was going to say, and on that note, uh, when it comes to people who can uh, help you with that screening, where can people go and find more information about your company? Well, well, you certainly go to our website, uh, smallcapsdiscoveries.com. Um, uh, yeah, probably the best place to go is there. If anyone's uh, interested or has any questions, certainly uh, feel free to contact me through our website. My name is Robert Kraft, and I'm coming to you live on SNN Live, and we're at the Microcap Conference 2016 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. With me again is Paul Andriola, editor of Small Cap Discoveries. Paul, thank you so much for joining thank me. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.